So welcome to the Fix Up Shop. Um, so a problem I have oftentimes when I'm working on something is I don't have the ability to flip it over very easily uh, to work on it. And um, I've seen all kinds of things that people use and they're pretty basic. And like here's something I used when I was working on a, uh, a phonograph. And I just cut out a couple pieces of wood and made it the right size. So I could just set the chassis in here, flip it over and put it in here. But I want something like this that I can move the sides in and out. So as I have different sized chassis and I can use this fixture um, to be able to, you know, adjust it in place, flip the board over, work on it, flip it over again, um, without having to make a new one of these. Although it's not hard, I mean, but uh, without having to make a new one of these every time I want to do it. So I think uh, today we're going to spend most of the time up in the wood shop. Uh, trying to put that together. So kind of what I'm looking for is just something like this that I can slide in or out like that and then clamp down and then put the chassis on just set the chassis on here. Right? And um, so I bought myself some of this this uh, channel here and I'm going to put the channel down and then this is a screw, uh, some hardware I bought just for this, and uh, you'll be able to tighten it down like that. So I don't want it. I don't have to have. I don't want it too big because I don't want to. I mean, I don't have a very big shop, and so I want to keep it somewhat tidy. Um, but this little piece of plywood is about a foot wide, and I think I'll probably make it uh, probably 18 inches. But with the 18 inches, then I can go like this or should be able to turn it like this as well. So um, giving me quite a bit of distance. So, I don't know, maybe I'll go 20. Yeah, I'm gonna go 20. I think 20 will work better. I'm just eyeballing it. So I don't wanna spend a lot of money on this because it's just a test fixture. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece of wood down. I'm going to put a groove in it and that groove is going to hold this guy here and then um, I'm going to leave it just up a little bit. So then if you look at it the, the bottom piece will be like this. Then I want the channel to stick up a little bit. right? So if the channel sticks up then the piece on top of it is grooved like that and that'll keep it from, you know, turning all over the place. <coughs> um, keep it nice and straight. And so that's all it's going to be. Uh, very simple, but um, we'll see. We'll start out by we'll start out by cutting this down to size and then putting the groove in here. side pieces I think I'm going to make those about six inches which will be more I think that'll be just fine okay so for the, the for the quarter inch groove you could use a router uh, I'm going to use a dado blade I think works great on a big saw like this, but a router might be um, pretty good too. So this is 3 eighths of an inch. 
And so I'll have a, I'll put a groove a quarter inch in the bottom and then um, an eighth of an inch in here. Okay, let's see, a quarter inch. Just sticks up about an eighth of an inch, and uh, perfect. Yep. Now I'll put that at just about three sixteenths, and um, that should do the trick. I'll make these six inches. Okay, so now I need to screw the rail down. And uh, one thing I really just love are these uh, centering bits. So there's a drill bit in here, and then this just pushes up, but like when you're doing hinges or anything like that, it centers it in the middle of the hole. They're super handy. Um, but the problem is, this one's too large <laughs> for this. Uh, but I can't find my other one, if you can believe it. So I'm just going to drill in a little bit. And uh, I'll just drive the wood screw in the rest of the way. But that nicely centers it. Nice. That's not very much bite on the screw, but I have to do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, you barely have to turn it and it's 
really in there. Okay, so now I just need to um, attach something onto here that comes up, and I think we'll be ready. is I'll have to make different ones of these um, every once in a while for different chassis but once you get one made then it's then it's good so Give it a try. It's kind of big. I don't know. Hopefully, it's a decent compromise. And so for this one, This one. Let's do it like this. Yeah, look at that. Tighten that down. Tighten that down. Perfect. So, I don't know. It's going to make this thing a lot easier to work on. So, I think this thing's going to be pretty great in the shop. And uh, I've been thinking about it for a while. How I would do something like this. And it turned out to be super simple. Uh, it just took me about an hour to put it together. And... Um, you know, I'll put a link for where to get the rails and the knobs, uh, but they're very commonly available. Anyway, so if you liked what you saw, please uh, hit like and subscribe, and thanks for coming along.